Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're gonna to be talking all about the RF Venue Distributed Antenna System, what components you need, how it all hooks up, and what it can do for you. All right, so we're gonna start off with what is the RF Venue Distributed Antenna System used for? Um, so basically these products are used whenever you have multiple wireless microphone systems, multiple uh, receivers um, in, in a venue and you're needing to improve your RF or your radio frequency signal strength uh, and constancy, you know, how consistent it is throughout the space, whether indoor or outdoor, and if you're in a highly reflective environment. So uh, an RF signal fades sometimes um, in indoor environments, lo lots of times based on uh, multipath interference, which is basically reflections of uh, RF waves. Um, and that's the most common issue. Um, it, this is a result of these radio waves bouncing into each other, uh, kind of like an echo chamber, just like we get phasing issues with sound waves. Um, so these echoes, when they bounce into one another, many times create uh, nulls or, uh, you know, areas where there's no signal because of the uh, collision with them. Uh, and then essentially your wireless microphone ends up dropping out um, because that null essentially ended up with no signal making it to your receiver. Um, so that's what we basically interpret as dropouts. One second you're talking on your microphone and then it goes away. So the RF Venue products are designed to help us with that. The uh, diversity fin here, the RF Venue diversity fin, you can use this in pro audio or in install versions. Uh, there is an install model of this product that can be mounted on a wall or this can be mounted on a mic stand and basically uh, gives, you, gives us benefits of allowing for it to cover a much wider area more consistently than a traditional paddle antenna will. So how does the, the RF Venue distributed antenna system work? So the first piece um, we have here is, as I mentioned, the um, uh, RF Venue D-Fin, Diversity Fin. The Distro 4 is the uh, distribution unit that will hook up to all of your receivers. Um, the Distro 4 distributes the RF, you know, the antennas, uh, as well as distributes DC power um, up to uh, four wireless receivers per one unit. Um, it does not matter what brand those are in almost all applications. These can be hooked up with uh, Shure, uh, Sennheiser, Audio-Technica, Audix, et cetera, et cetera, as long as it has removable antennas. That's a big thing to keep in mind. Um, so uh, you can also cascade multiple distro fours together so you can increase to uh, even more um, uh, wireless microphones that you can power. You can do at least five of these if needed and can do up to 25 receivers on a single RF venue um, DFIN with the uh, necessary uh, distros. The way that these basically cascade or uh, wire out to your individual um, receivers is you actually have the antenna outputs that will wire from essentially uh, from this unit down to your mic receivers. Uh, and then your antenna connection goes into uh, antenna A. Uh, and then the second one goes to antenna B if you're using traditional paddle antennas or half wave antennas. Or if you're using the RF venue um, DFIN, um, one from each channel will go tier two. Uh, and then you also have the uh, DC uh, power connections here as well. There also is a Distro 9, I'll mention, which is capable of even more um, antenna distribution from a single rack space. That can actually do, as the name would suggest, uh, nine units from a single um, distribution unit. Um, so the basic concept here uh, is that this gives us a simple way to uh, distribute antennas to multiple units and to do it all very cleanly and economically. And there are many packages available that include all the cables you will need with the, uh, the Distro 4 as well as the Distro 9 HDR. So what's cool about the RF Venue diversity fin is that it's not just a standard paddle antenna like you get from other, a lot of other manufacturers. Uh, a traditional paddle antenna is what we call an LPDA, a log periodic array uh, antenna. Um, without getting too complicated, the concept is, is that there's lots of different antenna arrays of different lengths inside this paddle uh, or inside a traditional paddle. Uh, but the D fin goes beyond that by not just having kind of the uh, LPDA array, you know, also incorporates bi-directional dipole, which essentially means that it has antennas that stick out in the opposite polar directions versus just the normal LPDA. Uh, so what that means is we kind of get the best of both worlds and are able to actually uh, pick up um, in 
across multiple polar areas, you know, horizontally as well as vertically. But the basic concept is, is that in this single antenna array, this single unit, which is all you need, even for as many as 20, 25 plus wireless microphones in many cases, uh, you get better reception with this single unit than you would if you just used two paddle antennas. So that's kind of the big takeaway here. Um, and that's why this is one of our favorite units to use in these types of applications where it's mission critical that your wireless mic will work, uh, whether it's inside of a school gym, whether it's outside on a football field, uh, whether it's in a church or an auditorium, we can definitely incorporate these with your wireless microphones uh, in order to help you get the best reception and to eliminate some of those pesky dropouts. Uh, if you have questions about what products are right for you or need help with designing a system, definitely feel free to reach out to us at ProAcousticsUSA.com. And until next time, we'll see you soon.